Guys, thanks for joining us. Gaffer, we'll start with you. It's Sutton at the weekend. What are your thoughts heading into that one? Expecting a big game. It's nice to go in a game as the underdogs, people keep telling me. Um, just say, you know, prepare well for it as we do every other game and, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, obviously Sutton are a side that as a club we haven't faced in a long time, but the man in the dugout for the other side will be familiar. I know he's familiar to you and obviously he was assistant manager here a few years ago and he's certainly got that Sutton side firing in recent games. He's done a good job there, Matty, you know. Um, when I mentioned him to the manager here before, you know, he's a good football man, Matty, and he's gone on his own and he's deserved the success he's got. And um, I'm glad, he, I hope he's got a good future in front of him. And um, one of the players, that's, I know we spoke about him last week as well, but Amrit's been getting a lot of praise. And one of the things I wanted to ask you was sort of, how does it feel as a manager when you put your faith in a player like that? You know, he'd only played one game for us previously in the Papa John's Trophy. How does it feel when he sort of rewards you with a performance like that? Like what? Well, how well he played against Rochdale. Uh, oh, yeah. He's, he's got to keep that up now, though. Um, you know, just getting back to the Sutton as well. Because you know we they're going to it's going to be a big crowd here and everything. It is a good day for Matt and, and what have you. But we've got to make sure that the fans and everybody know that this is this is us at home. This is our own ground. And the boys, we ain't just going to sit down and you know expect not to have a fight and have a row and have all the things that you don't want to hear. But it's a local derby and I'm sure they're geared up for it. I know Matt will be looking forward to it and we're looking forward to it. So bring it on. Next question. Sorry about Amrit. That's all right. Yeah. Um, no, listen, he's done what he's done. He, he's, he's, he's got it to do. Jack, I tell you, he's, when you make your debut, it's always easy now to think that you have made it and here we go. But he's got a lot of work to do, he knows that. And it's games that he has to play in and pick in and get used to the speed of the training and everything. But he's, he's a level-headed kid, so he knows what he's got to do. So, you know, it's down to the boys to bring it out of him. And one of the general themes on social media this week has been the real togetherness that the squad and the fans have. Obviously, we saw you going and shaking a lot of the fans' hands after Rochdale. Is that something you try and drill into the lads, or is that something that just comes naturally? No, it's a two-way street. As I said to you, you got to give. First of all, you got to give them something to cheer about, because you know the fans that travel away as well. As I keep saying it, when I went up on the train with them and they was all having a right jolly up on the train, <laughs> it makes you feel you know that they are with you. Um, when things ain't going bad, that's when you need them more because it's easier to support a side that's doing well. But And that's what we want to do well, obviously. But when, when you do need a little bit of a lift up or a kick out the backside, you hope that they give you that as well. And you sort of mentioned it there, we're expecting a big crowd. You know, ticket sales are you know, through the roof when you compare them to so far this season. And I suppose we'll just be trying to encourage as many of those to come down as possible and cheer on the lads. Yeah, providing the Crawley fans. <laughs> Plenty of certain fans coming down as well, I can imagine. And Jack, obviously, as a player, I can imagine it's always an exciting prospect, you know. You know, and you've got a big crowd, you know, you'd just be on, wanting to perform on your A game as well. Yeah, I'd say so. I think when you look at the fixtures, uh, when they come out, you kind of, uh, you do look at the away games, if you like, that are going to have big crowds, the likes of Bradford, Tranmere's usually as well, and things like that. So it'd be good to have a, a good following behind us at home. Um, obviously, the fans come out every week and, and do their best, but when you're talking about a few more thousand or whatever it might be, um, it'd be nice that that's the sort of thing that you you want to be involved in when you when you start playing football, good atmospheres. And obviously we spoke briefly about Sutton's form, but we're on some fine form of our own. You know, obviously you've had a big part to play in that. How have you found your football in recent weeks? You've been really enjoying it? Yeah, it's always enjoyable when you're winning games. Obviously it wasn't so enjoyable when we lost it against Tranmere, but when you bounce back and win um, in the league like we did on Saturday, um, it's a good feeling. Uh, you never want to lose two in a row, and we didn't, obviously, went up there and got a good result. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's a lot more enjoyable when you're winning. Obviously, you've been very versatile this season. We've seen you in centre mid and then sometimes on the wing as well. You know, obviously, the gaffer's put, <laughs> the gaffer's put his trust in you to do that. It must be, you know, it must feel rewarding that the gaffer's trusting you to, you know, do your job in any situation. Yeah, it's just good to play. Like, you play anywhere when you get picked, really. Um, obviously, played a lot of games in centre midfield for the gaffer, and then played out wide recently, a um, few different jobs, but I still have the same job really once I'm on the pitch and that's to kind of create and make make chances for the team um, and just and play my same game really, whatever position it's in. Uh, it doesn't really change much, uh, a few things positionally, but I think I've adapted to that quite well. I understand the game, just had to kind of string to your bow if you like. Hello, Mark. Cool. Carry on with you, Jack. Um, so what sort of team are you expecting from Sutton? What kind of team are they? Obviously, having spent quite a bit of time in, in non-league before I come to the club, I played against Sutton loads of times. Um, they're always really physical side. 
uh, like to go direct, but I haven't played against them for a little while now, so it could be a completely different kettle of fish. Mm -hmm. I know that they had quite an experienced team when I played against them before, um, and they've had to kind of change it up a little bit because obviously players don't keep playing forever. Um, they're in good form, we're in good form, so it should be a good game. Yeah, excellent. And John, um, you haven't played many local derbies since you take out. This counts as a local derby. Do you prepare any differently for a game like that? No. No. The thing that you've got to do, as I said to Jack, you know, they'll be organised. They're, they're, you know, they're on the back of, what is it, seven or eight they ain't lost or whatever it is, which is good. They've got the momentum from last year. Um, and they are expected, you know, it's, it's a tough league. There's no easy games. And it's easy to say it's just another game, but if you're going to go on and, and stabilise yourself in the league, you've got to go and get points early doors. And Matt's made sure they've done that. We're not expecting them to come here and roll over because that ain't in their nature to do that, and it's definitely not in our nature. So, no, I, I just think it'd be a good game for everybody to be, uh, yeah. you know, be at, hopefully. And how pleased are you to be ninth in the table at this point of the season? Or don't, don't, didn't know he was ninth. I, you know, don't even look at that till April. If we were in April and we're second and third, first and drawing away of it, that's when I'd be excited. Yeah. You know, you can just be as easy as you are at the bottom as you are at the top. It's only a I was going to say something rude then, but it's, it's, it's not a lot of difference between the top and bottom. And listen, you just take every game as it comes and the points build up. It's when people like you that I like that where you are and what you're not, you know, couldn't give a monkey really. Just keep going and we get what you deserve at where you be at the end of the day. Yeah. And where are we with injuries? Anybody expecting back this weekend? No. 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 Fair enough. Um, I'm going to ask you about something a bit off topic. I don't know if you saw this week, um, Crawley Council are going to vote on whether they should go for City status or not. Yeah. What's your views on that? I mean, could we see Crawley City FC? Or? Yeah, it could do, but I don't know where they'd play. <laughs> um, I, I ain't got a cloth. You just have to have a cathedral and all that. No, but that's a misconception. Right? Is Brighton it? and Hose are City and it hasn't got a cathedral. So well, I never knew that because uh, Jack knows more about Brighton when he used to go down. We used to go down here on holidays on the Beano's <laughs> and all that when we was kids. Um, no, but... <laughs> You know, I, I think that'd be good for the town or, or the city yeah. if it happens. But you know, let's just worry about what happens here next. Uh, way things are going, you know what footballs are like. We might be here, and it might be a Roman ruin by the time we're gone. <laughs> and um, I was with Dan Walker earlier because he's here right. promoting Strictly, gone back to his old school. He's a Crawley Town fan. I don't know if you're aware of that. Um, and he, um, he's hoping to bring his dance partner here one day. Have you got a message for Dan Walker and good luck to him at the weekend for Strictly Come Dancing? Yeah, good luck Dan and uh, always remember it takes two to tango. <laughs>